Hi everyone, it's uh, Andrew from Hobbies Australia, and this week we're going to have a look at a new offering from Academy, their United States Air Force A-10C Warthog. The Academy kit number is 12348, 148 scale, and it'll be arriving in Australia shortly. So every year, Academy put out half a dozen or so, half a dozen eight, you know, thereabouts, new releases. And the quality is always good. Uh, they're a great company. Uh, their after sale service is, is fantastic. Their subject matter is, is great. Their pricing is good. Uh, they're a great company to deal with. About every 12 months amongst those, those eight new lines, there is one release that is always, and I mean always, a standout. And from what I'm seeing for 2023, this particular kit, the new A10 Warthog from Academy, this is going to absolutely blow people away with what's in the box. So we'll crack on, we'll have a look at this, um, and let's see what you think. So probably the first thing you may uh, recognise or, or, or may note when you see this kit is if you're familiar with Academy, you'll see that their box art has changed. More emphasis now on the subject matter. They've reduced the company logo, uh, and it's all about what's in the box. Nice, glossy, strong, top opening box. We've got an image of the aircraft, or the, in this case the aircraft, but the finished kit. We've got the paint index called out on the side, fairly straightforward. And then on the reverse, we've got some images of the finished model, which looks absolutely jaw dropping. And then of course on the ends, we have some other bits and pieces. When I open the box, um, I've got roughly I think it's about 12 to 16 sprues all up, but we'll just have a look at what's in there. Now we've got the, safe, the standard safety blurb from the people at Academy, those three sheets. We have a fantastic decal sheet, loads and loads and loads of markings for the actual aircraft. And then of course, for the armaments loadout, depending on what you decide to put on your, on your airframe. Uh, but we've got decals there for the cockpit, for the various instru instrument panels, the walkway uh, markings for the wingtops, et cetera, et cetera. It's just really, really great. Um, and again, Ryan, during the course of the video, will get you some close-up shots of it, but it's just fantastic stuff from the people at Academy. Now, when I go to look at the instructions, what I find is I've got my standard booklet here, which folds out, manual one, okay. All fairly straightforward, okay, black and white, showing the various construction steps. It shows you the, uh, the masking uh, for the tires that is also included in the, in the model kit. So Academy are really giving you uh, a lot of value for money with this type of kit, or this particular kit, manual two, is uh, a glossy finish, pull out style again. But what we've got here is all the painting and decaling options. And these are done in color to make it easier for the modeler, which is a really nice touch. Of course, here we can see the sprue layout. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 odd pieces there to go through it. So it's um, it's not a terribly high, I don't think, part count for what's the level of detail. So we'll start off with having a look at some of the stock standard sprues. So what I've got here are things like the wing tops, the wing undersides. You'll note the very refrain, or refined uh, detail that's on some of these parts, the wheel wells, or what's going to end up to be the, the top of the undercarriage bay. There's um, some refinements in there, which is really nicely done. Look here at the tail assemblies, uh, some of the air intakes, just really, really nicely done. The guys at Academy have really worked hard on their slide mold technology. And we'll have a look at that, and it's very, very evident uh, in a couple of sprues that we're gonna have a look at here shortly. So sprue F here is part of the, uh, the armaments loadout. Really nicely done, attention to detail, fine refinement, really good stuff. 
Here we see the cockpit tub, the cockpit itself. We've got the flattened wheels, both the main undercarriage and the nose wheel, which is a very nice touch. The uh, ejection seat, the pilot seat, builds up uh, multi-part, so the attention to detail in there is going to be really, really nice. And of course, doing things like that allows you, if you're, if you're interested in it, to look at aftermarket options. Uh, we see a lot of things coming through, 3D printed. Edouard do a lot of uh, resin, or actually now they're branching more into 3D printing. Uh, upgrade parts, so all those types of things are obviously be going to become available for this kit uh, as it gets out there. Um, we can see here again some of the, the detail. We've got the, uh, the cockpit panel, the uh, heads-up display for the pilot, um, we've got the actual nose cone there, we've got the top side of what will be the nose wheel well, just some amazing detail there through E. And that will be the side, that will be the left-hand side, I think as the pilot sits in the aircraft, and that will be the access panel for the gun, the main gun, which the A-10 Warthog is fairly much built around. Last couple of sprues we're going to have a look at here deal with the weapons loadout. Okay, and this is a duplicated sprue, um, so we've got things like um, Sidewinder missiles, all those sorts of bits and pieces look quite nice. Pilot figure, a couple of different head options, different arm options. That's quite nice. There's two of those sprues. So that's going to be great. And look, you know, again, there's absolutely no flash. No flash whatsoever. The mouldings are crisp. They are clean. The attention to detail in both the recessed and the raised detail on these parts is just phenomenal, and I don't know if the camera's good enough to pick that up, but the rivet detail there is just amazing. Okay, so what we have here is the transparent parts, and I've got to say, these are some of the most nicely done transparent pieces I've seen ever. They're just absolutely crystal clear. There's no blemishes, there's no seam lines, it's just really another example of how the people at Academy are pushing themselves and the hobby to new standards. So while all those sprues look really nice, and as I've said, the attention to detail, flash free, uh, recessed and raised detail is just superb, what really, really makes this model have that wow factor is things like this. So this is the, the after half of the fuselage of the aircraft. This has been moulded as a single piece. Now, if you bought the, um, the Academy Viper helicopter uh, that was released a couple of years ago, they started playing around with this sort of slide mould technology with the boom on that helicopter. And they've now refined it even more, and we see it represented in this kit, uh, 12348, the A10C Warthog. So there's the tail end of the fuselage. That looks absolutely fantastic. But then to make it even better, here as a single molding are the engines. Okay, obviously we've got to have all the internal detail, the fan blade detail, etc., etc., put in there, but you know, where people have wanted and complained or commented on how difficult it is when you have to glue these sort of engine intakes together and then to remove molded seam lines or molded seam lines, well, I'm here to tell you the people at Academy have achieved a level of mold magic and they've gone away with it. So that piece, obviously we've got to clean up these pieces, but then that fits on to that. And there's literally the aft end of your warthog in one, two pieces. Now that is just amazing. What makes it even more amazing, and when you get the opportunity to see this kit up close yourselves, is that you'll just see how much detail is in there, both in raised and also in recessed 
uh, what they've achieved with their mould is just absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, I, I'm just wow, 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 blown away with that. So, Academy 12348, their AC10 Warthog. This is just going to be a beautiful kit, and that should be with us um, probably in six to eight weeks. Um, we'll have that out into retail stores and also online retailers. And as I always say, you know, you're in a hobby store and you see this kit on the shelf, take the time to have a look at it, to ask the team at the store, hey, can I possibly open this up and have a look at it? You're gonna be blown away by what Academy have put in the box. Their attention to detail is just superb. Their way in which they're doing their instructions is so user-friendly. The amount of uh, options on the decal sheet is just amazing. So, have a look at it. I think you're gonna be very, very impressed. This is gonna be one of those kits that's gonna show up on modeling showcases. Uh, it's gonna show up at shows, on display tables. It's gonna be one of those kits that you wanna have in your display case at home. It's very, very nicely done. Um, it's just another example of what the team at Academy are achieving and also what brands in our whole hobby are now aiming at. So yeah, keep an eye open for it. Academy 12348, coming soon to a hobby store near you. Now, as always, um, please, if you like what we're doing, use that subscribe button, pop your comments in there so we can get back to you as quickly as we can. Um, but as always, uh, stay safe, take care. I'm Andrew from Hobbies Australia. Until we see you next time, let's all build more kits.